Telltale's The Walking Dead has been a landmark, episodic video game franchise across two console generations. I'm here at Skybound to talk to the video game creators about Telltale's The Walking Dead Definitive Series Collector Pack. Now this collector pack, guys, let me tell you, it's got all the games, it's got physical goods, and there are bonus digital goods for you that are still in development. So what is it like now to be creative director on the final season? It's unbelievably humbling. I know the, the weight on our shoulders to kind of make a like, solid end to Clementine's story was immense from day one. It was a tremendous honor and a lot of responsibility too. I mean, obviously, including Clementine's tale, that's something that we took very seriously from the start. Playing this game and then building this game, we kind of realized a core tenet of The Walking Dead was making decisions that force people to cry and that's kind of what makes a, a Walking Dead story different than any other zombie entertainment out there. It's a universe that pushes all kinds of different people into you know, horrible scenarios and see how they have to deal with that kind of thing. It was one of the best experiences as a voice actor in my 29 year career so far. Um, you know, obviously there's a little bit of an age difference between uh, myself and Clementine. Two or three years. Yes. Give me that, that eight year old. Oh, wow, let's take it back. Clementine voice. Uh, this is eight-year-old Clementine right here. This is how it all began. So let's talk about the collector's pack. Why did you guys decide to make this? We want to make collectors and that really sort of like honors the massive legacy of the series and sort of puts the whole thing together in the best package possible. What's in the collector's pack? A disc that contains all the seasons, um, everything that there's ever been made in Telltale of the Walking Dead. All right, let's talk about this Lee and Clementine statue. It's based off the brand new models we made of Lee and Clementine for the final season. And uh, we even had our animators try to figure out how to make it as accurate as possible. I want it in my office <laughs> uh, displayed proudly. <laughs> Uh, some other really cool thing we have is we have this series of really nice uh, metallic pins. Oh, yeah. Um, they have uh, Clem, which of course everybody loves. We have Lee, gotta give tribute to the man. How cool is it to see in this collector's pack a poster of Clementine? It's super cool, especially because it's drawn by a Skybound artist. Yeah. And they have, and now it's this really cool image of Clem and AJ reflecting some blood, and Clem has Marlon's bow. Yeah. It's very metal. I hear some of the collector's packs are being autographed by Robert Kirkman. I'm pretty excited that Kenny is finally getting his hat. Well, the fans are getting Kenny's hat. Uh, Kenny is one of the most beloved characters in the entire franchise, and his, uh, his iconic hat comes off in, in very certain endings, depending on your choices. <laughs> and the fans who got those endings have been passionate about wanting Kenny's hat for years. What's your favorite item in the collector's pack? Disco Broccoli, who's kind of our, our team mascot, uh, oddly enough. He was the brainchild of Chris Rebert, our season cinematics director, really kind of took off with the fans. The Erickson's Boarding School t-shirt um, for Troubled Youth. That was a cinnamon for the dev team throughout development, so I think that's a really cool thing for us to see out there. I love uh, the nesting doll for Clementine. Like, does, what is that all about for you? It's a fun idea, and I think that's a lot of our approach here is to find cool visual ways to represent the growth of these characters. To have Clementine at eight and older and older and all in one of those dolls, you open it up and then you pull out the littler one and you open that up and pull out the littler one, you open that up and you get the eight-year-old Clementine. Yeah. I think it's amazing. What would you want to tell? Telltale of the Walking Dead fans. Uh, I just want to thank the fans. Uh, the, I think the passion of the fans and their intense love for all these characters is part of why the final season came back to life in the first place. Thank you. You have made all the people involved in this game feel so much love, and I just want to send the love back. It's because of you that this journey continued and we got to see the end of this final season. So, thank you.